Welcome to ILC Tech Talk. Today we'll be discussing how to use the 16 internal lighting application programs in the Light Leader Evo control panel. After you've installed the Evo panel in the ceiling and its remote mounted R20D relays for your lighting loads, you can then use the function select jumper to get the Evo panel into the lighting application standalone mode. The LEDs will flash temporarily as it switches modes. Then, using the two address wheels, you can set the Evo panel for the lighting application mode that best matches your operation. When setting the two rotary switches, the zeros are always at the bottom. In this example, I'm going to be using application F3. Refer to the Evo lighting application control matrix. This guide will help you to select the proper control application. In this matrix, we have listed all 16 lighting applications. If you have difficulty determining the right application for your project, call ILC support at 1-800-922-8004. When you call in, make sure to have a copy of the installation documents. On the front, you will find the GO number or general order number for the project. With that number, the ILC tech that you talk to will be able to easily access your project information. Let's review that lighting application three. Um, in this application, we are using both photo sensor inputs for daylight harvesting. We have the first photo sensor input controlling dimmer one as the daylighting zone in the first room. The second photo sensor input is controlling dimmer three as the daylighting zone in the second room. The next section here shows the four occupancy sensor inputs and the associated control of relays or dimmers on the side. Input 1 will operate relays 1 and 2 on and off with a dimmer setting of 50% at the on command of the motion sensor. Input 2 controls the same two relays but as a vacancy sensor for off only control. These two sections are repeated for inputs 3 and 4 controlling the second room relay and dimmer loads 3 and 4. Next we have the light sync digital switch options. Notice that we have configured several combinations allowing the lighting application to be used in several configurations. The first four light sync addresses are set for a single relay and dimmer control so that either room could become a one zone type. From the matrix I see that light sync digital switch address 08 is for an MZD station that will control relays 1 and 2 and address 0A is for an MZD station that will control relays 3 and 4 for the second room. Keep in mind that an MZD 2, 3, and 4 zone device uses two light sync addresses. You set the switch for the first address and the second address is automatically mapped. The device still uses both addresses. I have these four relays, two per room, already connected to my Evo panel using CAT5 cable. Let's address our switches. I will set my first light sync MZD station to 0, 8. Then my second MZD station for 0, A. Now let's connect our switches. I'm going to plug in my first uh, MZD station here into that local bus and then I'm going to use a jumper here, short one, to go to my second switch station. Once I've done that I can go in here and I should be able to turn on my first two relays and turn them off and do the same for my second two relays on and off. Let's connect our photo cells to our two photo sensor inputs one and two. Easy way to test a photo sensor is with black electrical tape and a flashlight. You can cover the sensor causing it to go to zero which allows you to have full light level or with the flashlight you can drive the light level into the sensor which will cause its dimming level to go down. Now connect up your occupancy sensors. Your occupancy sensor should operate the relays on off or off only for vacancy depending upon the inputs you've connected the motion sensor to. The inputs in the panel are all labeled and color coded making it easy for you to figure out where to land your wires. We've also placed this convenient sticker on the cover. It has all the color coded inputs and labeling along with additional information about the panel you may need to know. Any difficulty testing? 
Again, call the ILC Technical Support Line at 1-800-922-8004 and ask for assistance. Now, after you have your room working properly, you can leave the panel in the lighting application standalone mode during the remainder of construction. Or if the Evo panel is intended to remain a standalone controller, you're set and you can close the panel up. If the system is intended to be networked, then before the system startup, you can change the panel to networking by removing the function selection jumper, setting the node address switch to the designated two digit address on the system riser, and connecting the CAT5 network data cable into the in and out network ports. You should verify that the lighting application for this room has been recorded on the panel and the riser, plus any final node addressing. The startup technician will need this information for configuring the system along with any other changes that you needed to make. Remember that the EVO panel will not be running the lighting application mode during the transition. You can set the relays to on using the override on button in the panel, and you can ramp the dimmers to full before you make that change to networking. If you cycle power to the EVO panel, the dimmers will automatically go to full. Now, your controller should be set to go.